Hello and welcome to part 13 of building a dynamic social community website using PHP and MySQL created by Flash Building. And in part 12 we displayed some members just temporarily. We displayed all the members on our home page under the footer. And now I'm going to show you how to get the profiles more in order. So let's go to open profile that PHP within our source package and let's go to design view and let's go to the web where we have this web intersect and let's look at somebody's profile here let's get this a little smaller so you can see it and let's look at my profile Okay, so the picture is good. Let's go into the code. I'm going to make the picture a little smaller. Maybe 180. And now we're going to go to, let's see, we have all this information coming out, and this is what we want to display. sign update yep 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 okay so let's go to YouTube and let's show you how to embed the channel this is a pretty cool little trick that's not much of a trick but you guys might think it's pretty cool if my internet connection would work Yeah, little things going round and round. I'm not trying to waste your time, I swear to God. Jesus Christ. Okay. So, pause that. Let's go to my buddy Scrambill's channel. And you can see, you can go to any channel you want really to get this code. It's on mine too. But you can go into the contact box. At the bottom of the contact box is the embed channel string. You grab that, control C. Now let's go back into the file. And let's see, we're going to display it up here. No, we'll just display it in the HTML, then we'll print the PHP Dynamics for displaying each one in it. So right here, right in front of that, well maybe we should list the channel, where should we do that? Yeah, we're going to put it right there, why not? Let's go to code. We're going to move that first name and last name in a second. Alright, so there's my channel will be embedded, but it's not dynamic yet. We want to make sure it'll show everybody's channel. If I did this and put it up, when you went to your profile or somebody looked at your profile, it would be showing my channel. So we have to go here. Let's see if it, I hope it works that way. Flash building, yeah. Okay. So since everybody put their channel name in, or most people probably did, and what we'll do is we'll check to see, we'll do a check to see if they have the channel name in, and if they don't, let's just grab this printout tag here. Let's put it in this section right here where it says my channel name where it shows my channel name. Print that and we're going to make sure it says YouTube now instead of user pick. So now my YouTube channel will be laid right in. Let's see if we need to change it anywhere else. That's it. Let's get this first name and last name. Control X and let's place it Let's see, maybe right there under the user pick. Or on top of the user pick. Right 
there right there so you, in design mode you can pinpoint where you want the code to be or the items press code and you'll see your uh, cursor is at that position pop it in good to go now let's FTP this up let's reconnect that and we are putting up profile.php and now we're going to web intersect let's see uh, da, 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 da. okay now let's look at one of these profiles okay there's mine that is sweet so what we'll do is go to design view make sure this is set to top go down to vertical here under the HTML properties select top and I'll show you what that does right now let's FTP that back up now say you have an element like this that's a lot larger and in a, in a column next to it you have an element that's a little bit smaller it's going to be centered unless you do what I just did now let's refresh the page and you'll see that picture and my name move up that's what we wanted beautiful and you can subscribe look at that interesting go through all the videos this is really cool Now let's go back to the home page. Let's look at another member, Yol Nunez. And there's his channel. Oh, that's Digital Phantom. It's a member at developphp.com. Long time member. Well, not long time. Developphp.com is really new. But he's been there for a while. And uh, that is really, really cool the way it embeds that like that automatically let's go check out oh I know this guy too he's a developer at uh, PHP or develop PHP and he's also a friend of mine at Facebook Carl the man with all the Oreos <laughs> alright I gotta see this guy's profile let's see what interesting interesting profile picture that is bootylicious okay so that's pretty much uh, how you can bring in dynamic things from other websites if they allow APIs you know which is that's not much of an API but it's a cool little trick nevertheless and in the code view you can see that uh, all we've done is take that YouTube string that the person put in to the register form and that they'll be able to edit within their edit profile page and we sync it right into the HTML where we render out the embed channel and it's dynamic for each profile and let's see what else can we show you how to get in order here let's go look at our profile again and da, 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 we need the bio so I tell you what we'll keep this one nice and short we'll put out part 14 and part 14 will show you how to go ahead and get the bio in here how to render it out correctly because there's a lot of issues when it comes to rendering out text data from the database text columns or text fields with uh, you have to uh, manipulate the code just right to make paragraphs render correctly make sure there's no HTML showing make sure all apostrophes uh, there's no backslashes on all the apostrophes and things like that so that's what I'm going to show you in part 14 and it'll be a pretty important step in everything and then once we get the profile page nailed down then we can add some more menu items up here like member listing I'm going to show you how to make a member listing page, kind of like we did on the home page.
but it's going to have more of a, a search feel and a, a member listing feel to it, the whole page. And we'll do a uh, a couple of other links up here. And then the base system will be pretty much done and hopefully this will have uh, your wheel spinning pretty good to be able to and it'll put the power of coding into your hands and I'll tell you right now all of these people who are following along with this and are interested in these kind of dynamics and this kind of programming these are going to be these people are going to be excelling on the web within the next six months to a year mark my words all these people taking this tutorial series okay so we'll see you in part 14